Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very beautiful geometry math problem. Here we have given a right angle triangle with its height is 9 minutes and its perimeter is 15 minutes. And our target is to find out the area of this right angle triangle. To find out the area of this right angle triangle, first we will try to find out its other two sides. So particularly suppose this side of triangle is A and this side is B. As we noted, the perimeter of any closed figure is the sum of its all sides, its all boundaries. So therefore, this right angle triangle has perimeter is 15 units. Therefore, the sum of A plus B plus 9 will be 15 units. So from here, from this figure, we can write here the sides of this right angle triangles are A plus B plus 9 is equal to its perimeter is 50 units. Now here we will take this 9 to the right hand side. So this will become a plus b is equal to 50 minus 9. It is simply 41. So let us suppose this is our equation number first. We look to this one figure. This is a right angle triangle. So therefore, here we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. And by Pythagoras theorem, the square of hypotenuse is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So therefore, from this figure here we can write this implies or high fatty news is a so a square is equal to base is b b square plus perpendicular is 9 so this will become 9 square and we'll take this b square to the left hand side so this will become a square minus b square is equal to 9 square is simply 81 here a square minus b square is simply this is algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to 81 1. Here we have the value of a plus b from equation number first that is 41. So this will become 41 times a minus b is equal to 81. We will divide both sides by 81. So this gives him a minus b is equal to 81 divided by 41. Let us suppose this is our equation number second. To find out the value of a and b, here we will add equation number first and equation number second. So this is equation number second and equation number first is a plus b is equal to 41. Now by summing both the equations here, this negative b and this positive b will be cancelled. And a plus a is simply 2a and this will become 81 divided by 41 plus 40. One. Now summing this right hand side, this gives him 2a is equal to, this will become 41, this is 81 plus 41 times 41, it is the both 1681. Now adding these two numbers in the numerator, this gives him 2a is equal to, it gives him about 1762 divided by 41. Now this is 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 8 is 16. This will become 16, 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 times 1 is 2. So dividing 1762 divided by 2 gives him 881. So finally, here the value of A will become 881 divided by 41. This is the value of A. Now we will try to find out the value of B. Now to find out the value of B, here we substitute this value of A in equation number first or second. So let's substitute that value in equation number first. So equation number first will become equation number first is a plus b. So here the value of a is simply 881 divided by 41 plus b is equal to 41. Here we will take this value to the right hand side. So this will become b is equal to 41 minus 881 divided by 41. So further this will become 41 and 41 times 41 is simply 1681 minus 881 and this gives same this subtraction gives same simply 800 divided by 41 and that is the value of b so finally in this figure we have the values of a and b so here the value of a it is simply 881 divided by 41 and the value of b is simply 800 divided by 41. So finally in this figure we have the values of its perpendicular, its beds and its hypotenuse. 
and we know that we can find out the area of any triangle whose height and base are given using the formula area is equal to half times base time height so here we will use this one formula and we will find out the area so the formula is area is equal to half times base time height so here we have the value of base and we have also the value of height so we substitute these values here in the right hand side so it will become half times the value of base is simply 800 divided by 41 times and the value of height is simply 9 so this is 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 4 is 8 so this will become 400 and 9 times 400 is simply 9 times 0 is 0 9 times 0 is 0 9 times 4 is 36 divided by 41 and if we calculate this value so it gives him about 87.8 square units and that is our final area so finally the area of this close figure this right angle triangle in decimals is approximately 87.8 square units and that is our final correct answer